Welcome back, boys and girls, to another day of the amazing human body. Today, you have an opportunity to show what you know. You said it right. It is time for our quiz. It's time for us to take a test. So what we want to do is utilize today in order to prepare for that test that your teacher will give you on today, tomorrow, or sometime this week, okay? So let's talk about that. We want to make sure that just like if we were doing anything else, if we had to win a game, if we were winning a war, we want to make sure that we have a strategy. There's always a strategy. We don't want to just run out there and do anything and make careless mistakes. We want to make sure that we're being very cautiously about doing our very best. And so we have a simple strategy so that you can show what you know and have success on the test. And those are the strategies that you you see here on the screen that we utilize each time we take a test as well as do exit tickets as well as anything else multiple choice we slow our thinking down explain our thinking so that we will be able to move smoothly through multiple choice questions so here we go number one first you have to read the question and identify the keywords and translate the science to english similar to if you speak more than one language if you say hola then automatically you should know that that means hello. If you said mi amigo, you should automatically know that means my friend. It should automatically translate in your brain. So after I teach you so much science in class, you watch videos, look at the notes, then you should be able to translate science to English in everyday language whenever you are looking at your questions as well as hearing scientific terminology and vocabulary, right? And then the next thing is you want to write what you already know down. You don't want the answer choices A, B, C, and D yelling out answers to you. Have you ever watched a game show or been in a game or a relay and people are yelling at you and they're saying, go do this, da, 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 da. and then you're getting confused by the answers? Well, that's what the letter choices A, B, C, and D does. They yell out the answers and it sometimes confuse you. So I always tell the students to cover those answer choices up, read the question and write what you already know down without the answer choices yelling it out. Remember, you're smarter than a piece of paper. You're smarter than a fifth grader. So go ahead and show what you know. The third thing is eliminate with proof and choose an answer. That's very important that you prove just like you're a lawyer in the science courtroom, you prove your case. You can't say, I know that he didn't do it. My person is innocent. You have to have proof. That's the same thing in the science courtroom. The science courtroom is your test. You have to show your work. As a teacher, I even show my work. And so you've got to make sure you slow your thinking down and show your work to eliminate careless mistakes, okay? Some people may say it doesn't take all of that. Well, show me that you can do it without it, and then maybe we can have a discussion. Other than that, let's utilize the strategies for success. So, on my paper, because I am going to bring up some questions, as you can see here on my screen, they're multiple choice, and they're going to be about the human body, of course. At the top of my paper, I went ahead and wrote my strategies because I want to remember those strategies as I am going throughout the questions. I'm going to put number 17. Number 17, the first thing I should be doing is translating science to English. So number 17 says, what is the main function of the nervous system? Keyword, you got it right nervous system. When I see nervous system, I should automatically think my nerves. My nerves are connected to my brain. My brain utilizes the five senses, touch, taste, smell, hearing, etc. right? Those are what I know. That's what my teacher has taught me. And now I just have to go through and eliminate with proof. This is what's on my paper so far. You can take a moment and pause so that you can prepare your paper properly and make sure you're following the proper steps to answer questions as well. 
I'm ready to eliminate with proof. So you have A, cleans waste from cells. No, cleaning waste sounds like the digestive system. That has nothing to do with the brain and the senses. Absorbs nutrients for energy. Absorbs nutrients is definitely the digestive system. I don't remember this stuff, Miss Lemons. We'll go back to your human body notes and take a little refresher. And then you'll be able to find nutrients, that keyword is under digestive, not under the nerves or the brain, not under the nervous system. You can go to the nervous system and find those things that I already told you that you should know by now. So I go back to the question, delivers messages to the brain. Brain was the key word. It also went along with what I already knew. And I have chosen my answer. My answer is C. I used my strategy and I'm for sure that that's the answer. And I showed my work. Let's do another one. Well, that one is similar to the one before. Let's look at number 20. Number 20 says, which major body system breaks down food, breaks down food, keywords, write what I know, translate it, digestive system breaks down food to release nutrients for energy production. We look at A, B, C, and D. A, digestive, definitely breaks down food. Muscular, the main function of the muscle is to move the body. Respiratory is to help you breathe. Cardiovascular is to pump blood through your body, through your heart, cardio. So which one matches my answer choice breaks down? A. And let me show you what I put on my paper so you'll understand that process. That's me showing my work. All right. Let's do another one. Let's look at number 23. I'm gonna give you a moment to work number 23 out by showing your work, translating science to English, writing what you know, and eliminating with proof. Go. All righty, are you guys ready to show what you know? If you chose for number 23 that the answer would be C, you are correct. And if you look at how I broke this question down, I put down the key word was muscular and skeletal, which gives movement to the body. That's how they work together. I answered it before the answer choices yelled out at me. And then I eliminate it with proof by putting what each answer choice would be, what body system it was describing, and simply found the one that matches the question. You guys, doing your science test 
it's literally a science. You break it down and you use your strategies, you slow down your thinking, and I promise you, it will be a win for you, all right? So take your time today, make sure you have your notebook paper out, use your strategies, and do your best when you have to take your test. Take some time today to study those body systems in your notes. Have a great day.